Strong against darkness. But if I just knock them all out here, it wouldn't matter. Let's throw in our boy Pyro Jack. Let him get some work in. Oh shit, he has Mirage. I'm blind. That's why he's our boy. If Pyro Jack has gender. But if we're saying it in just the general term that he's, you know, a boy, then he's a boy. Without construing meters. And then look, and just like that, we're done. I know that lady. I don't remember who she... That's just fortunate. That's fortunate, isn't it? We have her. I'm pretty sure we have her. Fuku leveled up. Yeah, this is fortune, so that would have been a waste of time to try and get her. Good audible on my part. I would like to congratulate myself for a, a good call on that one. And uh, walking into this dead end as well. Are these the ones that are weak to like nothing? Yeah. Let's just uh, let's go put Ob Oberon back on just in case. Because he's been our, you know, our main dude. Our main fairy dude. I took a Shakespeare class like, uh, what was it like? A semester or two ago? And. Fuck, which is the. There's a Shakespeare play where like Oberon and Titania are in. I can't fucking remember the name of it, which is kind of embarrassing. Is it. I think it's Midsummer Night's Dream, isn't it? I think it's it. But every time I, I read them in there, I just like kept thinking of like. I didn't think of, you know, like, probably what. You would normally think of like, oh, there are these fairies, the king and queen of the fairies. I just kept thinking of like the persona artwork, and that's exactly how I pictured them throughout that entire play. Persona games are just teaching you everything. Like they teach you about psychology, like psychoanalytics, and how to picture the king and queen of fairies in Shakespeare's plays. You know, as as you would. <laughs> so going into that class, I figured like I would be like, oh man, this, these are all garbage, and I was like, oh, these plays are actually real good. Which you know, obviously, but there are four enemies. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. It's not like I'd really like study them prior to that, except for, like reading Romeo and Juliet and like. Ninth grade, so it's weak again. There are four which, at, which at that point, I was just like, dude, I'm way, way too young to understand like any of this. <laughs> and it's not like our like my freshman teacher was like, oh, here's all the dirty jokes in this in this play. It's just like, oh, this is very straightforward. We have to study this uh, exactly as it is. That didn't help. Now's our chance. Zayanda. I think at some point I want to check out like the, the shadows are getting stronger. There's manga versions of Shakespearean plays and I want to check out one of those just to see like what the fuck that is. Cuz that just sounds absolutely bonkers. Hey, we found stairs. Cool. Like how do you translate that dialogue into like into word bubbles and then like panel by panel and all that stuff? It just it seems nuts. Nope. I keep thinking that I'm playing Shadow Hearts, and I had to hit square, and I just started Shadow Hearts 2, which they basically remap the controls, so it's like, oh, it's triangle for item, and you can press circle to go back, so it's like modern style controls, 
but I'm so used to that fucking 2002 control style now that it's like just fucking with me. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to heal. Which hey, you should probably go play Shadow Hearts. That game is fucking real cool. Even though there's there's parts of it that have not aged well, because you know it, it was made in 2002, so there's parts of it that are kind of clunky. But that story is real good, and it's like set like prior to World War One, and then the sequel is in World War One, so it's fucking just ridiculous. Give me a sec. I'll stand the are you Use okay? I can hit you. Why do you think it dizzy? Just because it like it had next turn does not mean it shouldn't get dizzy. That's weird. Fuck game. You wanna tell me like what these things are weak to? Or are you just gonna just leave that out in the open? I'm pretty sure I did that, right? Like, I didn't just, like, forget and not do that. Or maybe because I, I went and checked the other one and fucking cancel that out. It's dumb. Well, if you had Yukari, it would, they would just be like, bam, bam, done. You just sniped him already. But I will come in with the food. Crit. Nope, that, that switched. The link card is better than the curse card. <sighs> well, that's just uh, another stairs, so. We'll go this way a little bit. That's just a dead end. Let's check out this other way. You know, as we're recording this, we are like. This is gonna go up in August, obviously. Or like late August, but like, as of recording this, we were like two weeks away from E3, so. Which seems fucking crazy, because it seems like E3 just like snuck up on, on everyone. But I'm real interested to see like what they're gonna show for like, if, like what Atlas is gonna do for like Persona 5 stuff. Because I know they have a booth there. They said that P5 is gonna be there, but I mean P5's kind of technically been there the last couple of years, just not in like a showable capacity. But they, they obviously they recently showed off that trailer. And obviously, like, all this is gonna be old news, because, like, fuck, it's gonna be, like, two months afterwards, so it's gonna be like, oh, yeah, obviously this stuff happened, so. I mean, the big thing is, like, oh, they're gonna, are they gonna give a release date for, you know, North American re regions, considering Japan has their release date in 915, something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if that game comes out this year. It would be late this year, though, like... Probably like around the time like Persona Q came out here, which is like late November. Uh, like maybe November, December, if it comes out here. If not, if it gets delayed to 2017, you know, whatever. Who cares? I'm not that worried about it. I'm not fucking like a crazy person on Tumblr who freaks the fuck out when they don't get information every fucking two days about that game because they're fucking so goddamn impatient. If there's one one of my pet peeves is like those people on Tumblr just fucking freak the fuck out when games are not giving you information every week. It's like, a why the fuck would you want information every week? They would just basically just spoil the game before the entire game's release. And b you don't fucking understand game development. Delays and shit like this happen all the fucking time. Get the fuck over it. Stop acting like a twelve year old and thinking that, oh, game development is perfect and we need all the information we can get as soon as possible. Like, that's just not how the fucking world works. We did it. But regardless, I'm fucking super, super pumped for that game. Even though I probably won't play it on YouTube right away, considering, you know, all the trouble we had with, with uh, with Atlas and Persona 4 dancing all night and all that stuff. Unless, you know, Atlas kind of like less lessens up or loosens up on their Ooh, nice. On their YouTube uh, policies and all that stuff. At least, you know, YouTube J or Atlas Japan, considering those are the ones that were giving out copyright strikes for dancing all night and such. So, I don't know, I'll probably try and like stream that game. 
like, and um, I'll just pull up stuff, like, whenever that comes out, but, like, hey, streaming, blah, 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 72nd floor, we are on 70th, so we're fine. There are four enemies. But, yeah, that game just fucking... Is there a game that's going to come out in the next year or two that's going to have as much style as that game that has? I, I genuinely don't think so. God damn, that game is fucking stylish. Good choice. The enemy is down. And I especially want to write something about. Okay. I want to write something about the um. Not sure when I'll probably try and do like I want to do like or at least release it around. That was, oh, okay, well. I want to release it around like September, which is like the 20th anniversary of Persona. But like, I want to do like a retrospective around like Revelation Persona and like especially the English release, like the weird development stuff that happened with that game and all that jazz. Just because of how fucking weird that game is. Because, you know, especially, it's, it's basically, the localization is weird on it. It's basically, it's localized kind of like a lot of, like, anime and manga was at the time where they very much tried to Americanize it. There are four enemies. I you. And try to, I guess, make it more relatable to English-speaking audiences and all that jazz. But, it's just, but all, like, all at the same time, like, all the mechanics and stuff are pretty much the same. Even though a lot of it has not aged well, as you can tell by me not even finishing the game, because that fucking last dungeon is just a fucking handful. But, uh... Yeah, it's, there's a lot of weird stuff about that game, I think, in terms of, like, the development and all that stuff. And especially if you try and research it online, like, you can't- you cannot find a definitive release date for that game. Like, it's either, like, November of 96, or November December 96, or it's, like, 97. Like, no place has, like, hey, this game definitively came out on this date, which seems strange about, like, you know, a game from back then, but... Struck shoulders. And I'd love to be able to, like, find and talk to people who actually worked on that game, like, like, localization team, or, like, people who helped, or some people from Atlas USA who helped with, like, figuring out how to bring that game over or something, but I don't know if that'll actually happen, you know? But if it did, that'd be fucking cool, and I'd love to talk to those people about that. There are two. It's the. I summon you. That's the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way. You missed one. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, you son of a. Shelf time. Whoa, Snake Lady. Do we get Snake Lady? We get Snake Lady, right? Unless we already have Snake Lady. We already have Snake Lady. Damn it! Oh, Shadow Shard. That sounds real weird. You know, speaking of games that have already like that will have come out by the time this video comes out, like I am, I'm one of the, like the, I guess I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm one of the few people, but like. I'm genuinely excited for fucking Tokyo enemies. Mirage Sessions, which I know fucking a, a lot of people are all butthurt about, like, oh, it's censored, blah, blah, blah. It's like, shut the fuck up. It's like, you people don't even know what the fuck censorship even means. You just fucking, you just want to see fucking girls in gaming fucking half naked so you can jerk off while you're playing it. And then when they take it that way, it's like, oh, censorship. It's like, fuck off. Use your gun. But hopefully, like, I'm, I'm planning on playing that on here. And hopefully, you know, like, you know, the Atlas stuff will not be another big problem, so. But, like, I have, like, a, I'm gonna have, like, a big delay on it. But not, like, a, net, like, a big delay, but, like, a couple weeks delay, just, you know. Just in case, like, something bad like that happens, and, like, all those videos are getting taken off YouTube, so. I'll always have some sort, some form of, like, cushion to, like, know whether or not that's actually gonna happen, so. 